Jessica Woods has been a dental hygienist for nearly a decade. She's also the president of Nevada's Dental Hygienist Association. It has a little more than 200 members. Our profession is very dangerous, especially in light of the COVID-19 situation. She noted the proximity they have to patients and aerosols, moisture droplets produced by their tools that hang back in the air. They can actually suspend viruses like COVID-19. Um, some research says, supports that it could be up to three hours. Hygienists can't use ultrasonic scalers right now, the tool that helps remove plaque. Wood said they are allowed to use other tools, though, that still produce aerosols. They didn't really release any clear PPE guidance around those procedures. So there's still a lot of confusion about whether we should be using an N95 mask, whether level three surgical masks are sufficient. Woods told me many offices don't have access to proper PPE, but hygienists are still being told to come back to work. For some offices that do have PPE, Woods told me hygienists are worried about the authenticity of it. So ordering them just off the internet and not knowing for sure whether they they're regulated. We also have um, some of our hygienists reporting to us that their employers are asking them to to sign releases and liability should anything happen when they come back to work. Woods told me she recognizes that everyone has a different view of the severity of the pandemic. That's why she and Nevada's Dental Hygienists Association are calling on Governor Sisolak to lay out specific guidelines that set the standard for all dental providers and postpone routine dental procedures. We are eager to get back in there and help our patients and keep them healthy, but we obviously want to make sure that we're not jumping the gun and that we're doing that in a safe way. I'm Kyla Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.